Howdy darn do, partner. What? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people of the world, welcome in, welcome in. We're going to be talking about one of the best new additions to Destiny 2, but it's been a part of the Destiny franchise since 2014, going on nine years now. Damn, bro. Where does the time go? Unlike yesterday's video when I was talking about the Abyss Defiant, I don't think I'm going to get nearly as much flack for what I'm about to say in this video, because, man, this LMG, it's kind of a beast. Of course, the LMG that we are going to be talking about today is going to be none other than then that juicy, juicy Song of Air You. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right off the top. The Song of Air You is the best legendary arc LMG in the game. And before I explain why, I gotta tell you guys about those juicy, juicy savings you can be getting when you head over to Instant Gaming to get your games in their DLC for a cheaper price. Along with that free monthly game giveaway that they do every single month, those links are gonna be towards the top of the description. And of course, while you're gaming on your discounted games, make sure to get yourself some good old GVO, baby. Gotta stay energized, focused, ready to kick some butt when you're gaming. And they just released their new Passion Palooza flavor. So if you wanna check it out, make sure to click the G Fuel link at the very top of the description make sure to use code Cree for 20% off at checkout. Anyways, ladies and people, beautiful people of the world, let's talk a bit about my favorite song as of recently. That song is going to be none other than No Good by Juice World, but we're talking about the LMG inside of Destiny 2, my boy. All right, all right. Arc Adaptive Frame 450 RPM is the frame of the Song of Air Ute inside of Destiny 2. Funny enough, in Destiny 1, <laughs> the song was the definition of a paper shredder. <laughs> that's, that's how fast that gun shot back in D1. And luckily for us, they decided to uh, change it up and make it way, way better. They put some spice and everything nice when they was in the kitchen sizzling and cooking up the Song of Air Ute's work well, for Destiny 2. And if you've used this gun, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and throw up this weapon spurt pool and talk about what makes this bad boy so damn good. All right, so looking at this perk pool, you are going to see a lot of good stuff. You see all that good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of perks that are going to be really hard for you to go wrong with because they're just that good. I guarantee there's going to be some unrelenting stands in the comment section. I'm not going to recommend unre unrelenting. I had <laughs> no way, Jose. You may want to try out some rewind rounds. Rewind. As rewind rounds is going to refill 60% of the number of hits landed into the magazine from reserves, and it always rounds up. So if you're over there dumping your load onto a healthier enemy or a champion, like something like a GM, master content, you'll notice that rewind rounds will proc, and it'll definitely be very, very helpful. As rewind rounds has definitely seen an uptick in usage over the past year, and it could definitely be a viable option here. However, I think what most people are going to use or craft on their Song of Air Ute in the third column has got to be Reconstruction. What makes the commemoration so, so good? Well, part of it is that it has Reconstruction in the third column. On a 450, you can have your magazine north of like 130 in the mag. That's fat. That's nice. That's really, really good. Reconstruction excels the most on special and heavy weapons especially on LMGs and the Apex Predator <laughs> bait and switch reconstruction rocket. What were they thinking? That, that's crazy. We're not here to talk about the Apex now, are we? Now, you do have Feeding Frenzy as like a cope perk if you, let's say you don't have the pattern for this weapon just yet and you've only gotten one to drop with Feeding Frenzy. I mean, that ain't the worst perk in the world, but I definitely would say something like reconstruction rerun rounds and that good old demolitionist are definitely better options. Being able to reload your fat LMG magazine by just yeeting a grenade at the enemies can be very, very helpful. And you'll get 10% grenade energy back whenever you defeat an enemy with your LMG. Very, very good. Definitely top three in the perks that you can choose from in the column three section. However, I think the best might be reconstruction, but you got options. You got a lot of options. That's the thing this LMG provides. Options. All right, so... How about that fourth column though? Oh, Y'all saw it initially. Hey, dude, there's there's some juice! Juice, juice, juice! Alright, Sword Logic. This is obviously a new perk on the Crota's End weapons. And having it on a heavy weapon. Now that that's pretty good. If you kill a boss, you will get a 50% damage buff that you can keep going by defeating more enemies. However, in most situations, you're not gonna have that buff up. 
You could definitely get away with killing mini bosses with the LMG and get a 35% damage buff rolling about, but most of the time you're going to have a 15% or a 25% damage buff with Sword Logic. But it is definitely very noticeable how good this perk is on this LMG. And it's definitely up there with the top three of best perks to choose from in this fourth column. However, a perk that I like more than Sword Logic in this fourth column is right under it. That is none other than Bait and Switch, my boy. Dealing damage with all equipped weapons within a short time will give this weapon a damage buff. And that damage buff is equal to 35%, which is the same as killing a mini boss for Sword Logic to get its 35% buff. Whereas Vayne Switch, you just got to tag enemies with all of your weapons. Very easy to do. You don't need a kill to proc it. You don't need to pick up anything to proc it. You just need to shoot, switch, shoot, switch, shoot, and you'll proc Bait and Switch. As we all know, Bait and Switch is one of the most popular option for just about any weapon that it is on, and that is no exception here. Let's go ahead and move on to the other really good option, the other top three perk to choose from, and that is going to be Target Lock. Now, unlike the Retrofit, you're not going to be dumping your ammo nearly as quick but you can still work yourself up to getting that 40% damage buff that you get when target lock is maxed at five stacks. Of course, when using target lock, you do got to be very accurate. And if you're like me, you're not very accurate. <laughs> Either way, though, providing some sustained fire will definitely be really useful and higher in content like GMs where target lock can definitely see it being used at its max potential. You're not really going to be using this thing as like your boss damage weapon, but it can definitely chew and chunk with target lock times five proc. Just make sure you got that accuracy, buddy. Because some of us need to spend more time in the aim labs, apparently. That's me, I'm referring to me, I suck. <laughs> All right, now one thing I do gotta talk about in this perk pool is Volt Shot. Traditionally, Volt Shot is a go-to option on just about any weapon it is on. However, part of the reason why we've been lacking a really good ARC LMG for such a long time is the fact that ARC's general best perk is Volt Shot, right? That is the ARC perk to synergize with ARC builds like Incandescent for solar builds and Volatile Rounds for void builds. However, what do all LMGs have in common? A slow reload. And what do you need to do in order to proc Volt Shot? Reload after getting a kill. And doing that on an LMG over and over again. And I keep reloading over and over again. It's not very practical, now is it? Also, if you got that reference, comment down below because you're an OG of respect to you, my boy. So for that reason alone, I am not going to recommend Volt Shot on this LMG. Even though traditionally Volt Shot is really really good literally the only class that volt shot is not good on is lmgs because lmgs inherently have that slow reload that's part of the reason why perks like demolitionist reconstruction are very very popular because you can get around that slow reload food for thought if you want to run volt shot do your thing bro don't let me stop you i'm just personally not gonna recommend it here and then you do have cascade point in the fourth column as well which could definitely be fun maybe a bit gimmicky but I'm not gonna recommend Cascade Point over Bait and Switch, Target Lock, or Sword Logic. That being said, this perk will still has a slew of so many good options. You got so many perk combos to choose from. So, choose wisely, or craft multiple versions of the Song of Iriut and craft as many roles as you want. Do your thing, bro! Now you guys know I gotta go ahead and talk about one of my favorite origin traits as of recently. That being none other than Curse Thrall. After defeating a target with the melee attack, final blows with this weapon cause targets to explode for a short duration. I love this origin trait. It is so, so fun. Pretty dang good for clearing out ads. And that is generally your LMG's role. Dispose of the competition as fast and efficiently as possible. With Curse Thrall, you will up your efficiency of disposing of those trash tier ads even higher. It's one of my favorite origin traits for a reason. You best believe I'm going to be talking about it more in the future anytime we go over a Crota's End weapon. This LMG is an absolute monster with so many different perk combos to roll with. You could go with Rewind Rounds with Sword Logic, Bait and Switch, Target Lock, or you could go with Reconstruction, Sword Logic, Bait and Switch, Target Lock. You could also go with Demolitionist, Sword Logic, Bait and Switch, Target Lock. You get the picture, bro. You get the picture. 
any of the top three perks from column three mixed with any of the top three perks in column four you'll be good to go and then with the nice cherry on top you got curse thrall baby helping you clear out those ads even easier Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today's video. Remember, if you ever want to get your games in the DLC for a cheaper price, you make sure you head over to Instant Gaming. Link towards the top of the description. And right next to it, if you want to get yourself some good old G Fuel State Energized Kicks on Blood while you're gaming, the link will be right there for you to go ahead and head over there, as they did just release their new Vash and Balooza flavor. And make sure to use code Cree for 20% off at checkout. Well, let me know your favorite role for the song of you down in the comments section. You guys have a great day. Y'all be safe. Take care. Consider subscribing. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one. Adios!